station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Haley Fick. We're continuing our summer road trip, showing off some of the sites at the NASA Johnson Space Center. Today, we're in front of the Saturn V rocket here at Rocket Park. July 20th marked the 48th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins launched on July 16th, 1969, atop a Saturn V rocket just like the one behind me, and splashed down in the Pacific Ocean after a successful mission on July 21st. We're already getting ready for our next mission beyond the moon with our Orion spacecraft and our Space Launch System rocket. When astronauts return to Earth from destinations beyond the moon and splash down in the Pacific Ocean, they'll need to safely get out of the Orion spacecraft and back on dry land. Using the Gulf of Mexico waters off the coast of Galveston, Texas, we worked with the Department of Defense team to test Orion exit procedures in a variety of scenarios July 10th through 14th. Astronauts donned Orion Crew Survival System spacesuits to make the testing as true to mission scenarios as possible. Human research being conducted aboard the space station is preparing us for those future long-duration missions. This week, the crew took ultrasound images of various blood vessels as part of the fluid shifts investigation. Because fluids shift headward in microgravity and may cause adverse effects like changes in eyesight, a lower body negative pressure device is worn to investigate possible preventative measures. The crew also collected urine and blood samples for three other investigations, biochem profile, repository, and cardio ox, aimed at measuring how different biological systems compare before, during, and after spaceflight. This week's question comes from Patty C, who says, my daughter wants to know why the astronauts land in the water when they come back from space. There are actually many different landing options. The space shuttle landed like a plane on a runway, the Apollo capsule landed in water, and the Orion spacecraft will too. However, astronauts currently travel back and forth to the space station aboard the Soyuz vehicle, which touches down on land. There are pros and cons to all the methods. Many factors are considered, such as obstacles like landforms, how populated the area is, who has jurisdiction over the surrounding areas, and how fit the crew is to assist themselves. The vast open land in the steppes of Kazakhstan offers an opportunity for recovery crews to quickly reach the crew and assist them with exiting the vehicle. After more than six months in space, it takes time for their bodies to readjust to gravity. Research gained from all these methods will be put to use in future missions to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space. space, space, space.